Okay, this is going to be a pre-calc lesson on um, continuity and discontinuity. I want to talk about some uh, the three types of um, uh, discontinuity. The first is uh, removable, infinite, and jump. Okay, let me give you a couple examples. Okay. Alright, so these are going to be the three types of discontinuity. Okay, now the concept is removable. Okay, if you eliminate one of these factors, okay, this creates a hole in the graph. So what I do is if I solve this spot, that would be x equals negative 3. So I have a removable discontinuity. Basically, removable is what they call a hole in the graph. Okay, what you have left over is x minus 2. Infinite is like an asymptote. Okay, the way you get that is whatever is left in the denominator, if I solve that, that becomes my infinite discontinuity. Okay, jump has to do with piecewise functions only. Now, not all piecewise functions are jump. I'm going to explain why in a second. Here's how you figure that, this out. Okay is you basically take this three and put it in and evaluate your function, okay? So at that first one, it's at seven. If I take this three and put it in, it's at negative one. If these two numbers are different, okay, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. If these two numbers are different, then you have a jump, okay? All right? So that's, those are examples of discontinuity. Now let me show you a jump that would not be, okay? All right, so let's say you have this function, f of x, let's say um, x plus 4. Uh, let's say x is greater than or equal to 1, x is less than 1, okay? Um, Okay? Now, you'll say, oh, Mr. Evans, that's a jump discontinuity. Well, no, because if I were to evaluate that one, that would be 5. And if I were to evaluate this one, it would also be 5. So this is not discontinuous. It's not, it's not discontinuous. Okay? It's not. Okay? So be careful about the concept of piecewise being a jump, because sometimes people see piecewise and say, oh, that's a jump discontinuity. Well, it's only jump if when you evaluate those at the same point, it's, it's different, okay? All right? So, all right, let's take this example. Okay, let's take this example. All right, what we want to do is identify the discontinuity, okay? Now, I don't have to, I'm gonna put a video up on how to factor, okay? It's an algebra one, algebra two concept, so I'm not gonna get into how to factor. But the bottom line is this top one is gonna to factor to x plus four and x plus two. So this bottom one will factor into x plus 2 and x minus 2, okay? Now, if you notice, this crosses out, okay? So this is a removable at x equaling, and if I solve that, that would be negative 2. Now, what's left over? This. 
And that denominator is, has an asymptote, so this would be an infinite discontinuity at x equals 2. Okay? So understanding how you could have multiple ones in there. Okay? All right? Multiple different types of uh, discontinuity. Okay? So, all right? What I want you to do is determine the discontinuity. Okay? Here are the examples I'd like you to do. Okay, so pause your video, check for, determine the discontinuity. Okay, this one, there's nothing to eliminate here, but this would be infinite at x e can't equal negative 8, or x equals negative 8, and x equals 4. Okay, this one I have to factor it first. Oops. That's wrong, minus plus. This one would factor two. That. Now as you can see, these would cross off. So I have a removable at x equals negative four. What's left over is this, this part here. So what I have there is I have an infinite at x equals negative five. Okay? Now this one, I gotta check. Could be a jump, I gotta see. All right, that would be uh, six minus five would be one. And if I do two squared minus three, that'd also be one. So this is not any discontinuity here, okay? We don't see it. We'll get into the continuity test at the end of this, of this unit, okay? Now, um, one of the things you're gonna be asked is uh, find the domain. All right, find the domain and the discontinuity. So let's say I have something like this. Um, okay, now what I have is I have an infinite infinite uh, discontinuity at, now this would be x equals 0, and an infinite dis uh, discontinuity at x equals 9, okay, because that would be the solution to those, all right, probably infinite wrong, okay, now the domain, okay, all right, very simply is this, x such that uh, x can't be 0, and x can't be 9, okay? All right, so probably a proper way of saying that x, where such that x is an element of all real numbers, okay? All right, but basically the domain can't be x equals 0, and it can't be x equals 9, okay? So whatever your discontinuity is goes in there, all right? So let's say we had uh, something like this. Okay, I would like you to write what you think the discontinuity is and then the domain. Okay, what you would do is that would eliminate. So I got a removable at x equals negative two. Okay, and then my domain, x is a, 
uh, there's an element of all real numbers such that x can be okay um, uh, negative two. All right. So you can use the x, what they call e, little e r. Okay. All right. So that that is your uh, discontinuity. Okay. All right. All right. Now let's get into. Okay. Um, let me give you one more jump one to do, okay? A potential jump one. I just want you to find the discontinuity, find if it's discontinuous. Okay? So let's say, um, Okay. All right, now if you substitute, that's three for the first one. That'd be eight for the second one. So I got to jump this continuity. Okay? All right. All right, we're moving on. Okay? We're moving on. The next thing we're going to cover is uh, the continuity uh, test. Okay? All right, continuity test. There are three parts of the con continuity test. First part, that I evaluate my function at some number, and I basically get an answer. Okay, that's the first thing. So if you evaluate it, you get some answer. All right? Second part is we're gonna use a table, okay? So we use a table where this is my number, all right? All right, the idea is we add 0 0.1 to that number, 0 0.01 to that number. Uh, sorry, I did that backwards. I get that confused sometimes. Point zero, uh, zero one, point zero one, point one. Okay, we add those. I'll show you how to do that in a second. We subtract point zero zero one, we subtract point zero one, and we subtract point zero uh, uh, point one. Okay. And the last part of it is we show that the limit as x approaches infinity, or x sorry, as x approaches C, okay, is the same as if I were to evaluate that function, okay? All right, so these are the three parts of the continuity test, okay? F approaches C equals a number, all right, a table, and then the limit. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples, okay? All right, so let's say, all right, I got F of X equals 2X squared minus 3X minus 1. Is it continuous at x equals 2? Okay? So very simply, all right, I'm going to evaluate it at 2. All right? Now, what we can do is we can go into the calculator. I know we haven't used our calculator a whole lot. This is a great time to use it. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to menu, and I'm going to go to table, because we're going to do a lot of stuff in table here. I'm going to type in my function, 2. Alpha x, exponent squared, minus 3, alpha x, minus 1. Table. Okay? I'm evaluating it at 2, so if I type 2 and execute, I get the number of 1. I get a result of 1. Okay? Now, so that's the first part of the continuity test. Boom. Done. Here's the second part. At 2... I want to look at 2.001, 2.01, and 2.10. Okay? All right, let me show you how that works in a second. Then I want to look at 
1 1.99, 1.90. Now, you're gonna say, Mr. Evans, why are we doing this? Okay, what we're going to do, okay, I already know this result, okay, all right, I already knew this result is one. What I wanna do is I wanna type in 2.001, execute. I get 1.005, okay? 2.01, I get 1.05, okay? And then I got uh, 2.1, I get 1.52, okay? Then I'm gonna do this other side, 1.999, three nines, 0.995. Okay, then one, uh, 1 1.99, that's 0.95, and then 1.90. Now, if you notice, okay, if you notice, as I get closer, both sides are getting close to one. Okay, so that's the concept of the limit, is that you should see these numbers both getting close to one. Third part is the limit as x approaches two is the same as f of two, okay? Because both of those are approaching one and that's my evaluation of one, okay? Now, let's do an example where it's not continuous, okay? Let's do an example where it's not continuous. Continuous at x equals 3. Okay? We're going to see if it's continuous at x equals 3. Alright? So, go to the table. Alright? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate uh, that function. Okay. Now watch what happens. Uh, we'll do x plus 3 divided by parentheses x squared minus 9. Put the parentheses on top of it. Okay. Now, I go and type in table 3. What does it tell me? Error. So the first part, there's an error. So we know this is discontinuous. 